Wednesday. The fears of violence are so strong tonight that several churches are either canceling their midnight masses or holding services hours earlier. But the hope tonight comes from the staggering number of guns still being turned into New York City police in exchange for money to buy toys. Right you are, Dana. The Toys for Guns trade-in has been so successful, it's being called the miracle at the 34th Precinct. And correspondent Mike Taibbi has the latest. I've got to admit, I was one of the skeptics on Wednesday when Police Commissioner Ray Kelly called businessman Fernando Mateo's Toys for Guns program the miracle of the 34th Precinct. But 48 hours later, over 160 guns had been surrendered in exchange for $100 gift certificates from Toys R Us. And these guns were not pieces of junk. The officers here are impressed with the, the quality, if you will, of the weapons. We had a, uh, a fully automatic uh, machine pistol. We've had a couple of pen guns that can be secreted and certainly uh, have potential of, of harming officers when they're effecting arrests. For Fernando Mateo, who owns a carpet store in Midtown, and who got the idea from his 14-year-old son, the reaction from the community he's so worried about has been remarkable. This precinct is as full of gunfire and murder as any other in the city. And in nearly two years of the police department's gun buyback program, a grand total of 54 weapons had been turned in for cold cash. Mateo originally bought $5,000 worth of gift certificates, but a $10,000 donation from Toys R Us and two private donations of five grand apiece up the potential rewards to $25,000, enough in gift certificates to take in 250 guns. Mateo and the police department are now contemplating ways of expanding the program. If we can tell people out there that possess a gun, that own a gun, that they can barter that weapon for food, for sneakers, for boots, for jackets, for appliances, I think this program will go a long way. Kelly endorsed the idea. We're exploring ways of extending this concept uh, to, to keep an, an amnesty program uh, uh, going and perhaps, as Mr. Mateo said, with uh, other things uh, of value. All right, get this. As of about one hour ago, a total of 210 guns had been surrendered at the 34th Precinct. It's only in this precinct, by the way. Some cops have dubbed the program Guns Are Us, but whether you call it Guns Are Us or Toys for Guns, it's an emblem of the New York City of 1993, and it has been, as we said, a remarkable success. Mm -hmm. This exchange arrangement, which mm -hmm. is confidential, no questions asked, ends tomorrow night, Christmas night, at midnight. And Jim, I was surprised, I'll tell you. Unbelievable. It spreads all over the city. Well, they're trying to expand it. Yes, it's, I know. Uh, it's been that, that successful. Great. Thanks. Wonderful. This evening, the fear of crime, however, is still taking its toll on traditional Christmas celebrations. Some churches in our area will not be holding midnight services for fear that it's too risky to be out on the street at that time of the night. Correspondent Jennifer McLogan reports. The bells of St. Mary's won't be tolling at midnight tonight, and there will be no midnight ringing at St. Martin of Tours in the Bronx, at Church of the Intercession, or a whole host of others. Folks feel very insecure, older folks, for instance, people who are living alone feel very insecure because there's a lot of people have been mugged and a lot of people have been hurt. It's just better to be out in the daylight and since it gets darker earlier, it's to our advantage to have them here um, and to help them to feel safe. Here in Harlem, St. Mary's Episcopal has canceled its midnight mass. We'll be holding it instead at 7 o'clock. A sad comment on our times, perhaps, because St. Mary's Episcopal is directly across the street from New York City's 26th police precinct. <coughs> So far this year, there have been 10 murders and 761 robberies in the 26th precinct. Crime has actually gone down here, but with numbers like those, so similar to many other New York neighborhoods, it's no wonder moving midnight mass earlier is being warmly received. 7 o'clock, I'd be glad to go. I'd be glad to go. Why do you feel frightened? Because of what's going on in the city. Somebody going to crack me on my head or blow me away someplace. I tell you like I feel. I don't go out. 30 blocks north at Church of the Intercession, the canon there says many traditionalists don't like the change, but he'd rather think of it as a reminder of social conditions that test our faith. In smaller neighborhoods or in more densely populated neighborhoods, crime is a major factor. For us at the Intercession, it was not the major factor, but it was a consideration. I hope the Lord doesn't mind, but I'm pleased regarding safety. From Harlem, Jennifer McLogan, Channel 2 News. Pope John Paul is now celebrating the traditional midnight mass at the Vatican. Here's a live picture from Vatican City. 
The Mass is held at St. Peter's Basilica. It's being broadcast around the world. It commemorates the birth of Christ almost 2,000 years ago. The Pope will be offering the traditional Christmas prayers for peace on earth. The sounds of gunfire and exploding shells makes it obvious promises of a Christmas truce have been broken in the former Yugoslav Republic of Bosnia. At least five people were reported to be killed in Sarajevo, another 34 wounded. There are also reports of fighting in western and central Bosnia. And in Bethlehem, the PLO won a Christmas Eve showdown with the Israeli army over flying the Palestinian flag outside City Hall. The issue had threatened Bethlehem's first major Christmas celebration in six years. The Bible teaches Christ was born in the city now located in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. The holiday that's supposed to bring joy triggered near tragedy in New Jersey. Police say a father apparently became despondent because he could not afford to buy Christmas presents and held his family hostage all night long in a motel. Correspondent Cindy Shu. Samoa and Marquan Andrews finally walked free at 8 this morning, 15 hours after their father took them hostage. The three and four-year-old were followed by their mother, Tracina Andrews. But police held back until 24-year-old Wayne Cole came out of room 32 at the Jade East Motel. It all started at 5.30 last night. Police say Cole was depressed about Christmas and alcohol pushed him over the edge. He was very intoxicated, got into a fight uh, with his wife uh, and was a bit despondent uh, because, uh, because Christmas was here uh, and they just didn't have the resources to, to, to get the presents that they wanted for their, for their young children. Police say the trouble started when they answered a call of a domestic dispute and Cole opened fire. While no one was hit, he has been charged with 20 counts of attempted murder. Cole finally gave up this morning when police say he sobered up. Now right next door to the motel is this Wendy's restaurant where employees are still in shock over what happened. They tell me that Wayne Cole would come here every day to eat with his two children. Estelle Frost knows all the regulars. She says Cole had been coming here for months. And he used to come in maybe about a little after one o'clock. And he'd go over there and I'd go over there and talk to the little one. Estelle says Cole said hello but was relatively quiet. When the employees heard money for presents had sparked the whole thing, Wendy's decided to help. Today, my supervisor, Michael Keith, decided that since most of this trouble started because of Christmas, uh, he decided that he would go out and buy some toys to give for the kids. Investigators say it will take days to find out where Cole got the gun. Tonight, he's undergoing psychiatric evaluation. The kids and their mother are with relatives, hopefully getting the gift of sleep this Christmas Eve. In South Hackensack, I'm Cindy Hsu, Channel 2 News. Threats of violence at shopping malls in Colorado prompted an extraordinary scene today. Santa Claus left one mall with a police escort after somebody threatened to kill anyone playing Santa. Eight malls canceled their Santa displays because of the threats, and police precincts were open so children could still see Santa in the safe presence of police. And the police in the Bronx really made the holidays for some children who had written letters to Santa Claus and never ever dreamed they'd get a visit right in broad daylight. Correspondent Marsha Kramer has the story of the letters, the law, and a lot of love. A police van speeding through the impoverished streets of the South Bronx, lights flashing, sirens blaring, usually means bad news for the people who live here. But not today. Today was the day Santa rode shotgun. Dear Santa, I have a big family of six. My mother's disabled and my father has heart problems. I just asked for, my, for a car and something for my sisters Anna, who is 12, and Mercedes, which is 7. It all began with this man, Officer Ray Trigo. As youth officer in the 4-4, Trigo sees it all. Kids whose parents are addicts, kids with a parent who is locked up in jail, kids from families that just don't have too much. For them, Christmas is often no different than any other day of the year, but not this time. Trigo got the cops of the 4-4 to go to the post office and get letters to Santa from kids who live in their precinct. Just to bring a little spirit of Christmas to some of the kids in this neighborhood who really have no idea what Christmas is all about. I currently attend college to make a better life for me and my girls. I hope to one day help another needy family during the holidays. Your help will be greatly appreciated. So we're going to go over there and try to make their Christmas. The cops spent their own money to make Christmas wishes come true. Toys, clothes, whatever the kids asked Santa for. Then they wrapped the presents with care and got Officer Sean Surrey to play Santa. He gladly trekked up flights and flights of tenement stairs to announce that, yes, jolly old St. Nick was there. Their precinct commander was delighted. Uh, this is a very proud moment for the entire command. 
But that's nothing compared to the sheer delight they brought to the kids. Ah, what's your name? Unique. Unique? Unique. Unique. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, boy, you think we have something. No. It's unique. It's unique. Wait. No, it's there we go. This too, honey. There you go. And that's who's yours? this little girl? This is Louise. 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 Here, Louise. Merry Louise. Christmas. And who is the one with the lucky name Precious? Me. Precious! Ho, 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 in the South Bronx, Marsha Kramer, Channel 2 News. Oh, a great smile. Coming up next, the greatest gift of all, as United States soldiers rush home for the holidays from Somalia. Plus, Bobby Hurley heads home himself after the crash that threatened his basketball career. And come along for the last-minute rush as we play Beat the Clock with some intrepid shoppers on Channel 2 News. I'm Roger. And you have the little dog for Katie. Okay, let's... Three special hard copy Christmas stories. Leah, doctor said she was born without a brain. Today she's living proof of what love can do. Danny, a high school football player who refuses to let his blindness be an obstacle. Holly, she was his Santa's little helper. Now a father remembers the love and loss of his little girl born on Christmas Day on hard copy. Tonight at 7 on Channel 2. The word at your Chrysler Plymouth dealers is yes, Y-E-S, for year-end savings. The time we have to say yes because we have to make room for new stock. That means yes to clearance savings on Plymouth Sundance with power steering, power brakes, and a driver's airbag. Save on Plymouth Acclaim with air, automatic, cruise, and driver's airbag. Hurry in for year-end savings. The car you want is a simple yes away. Yes. See your Chrysler Plymouth dealer today. Some months wind up being more expensive than others, which is why the Chase credit card is cause for celebration. Months when you have a higher balance, we'll take our already low interest rate and lower it to 13.4. Whatever your needs, Chase has a credit card to meet them. Call 1-800-AT-CHASE. Because sometimes it's better to give and receive. Chase Manhattan. Profit from the experience. these children have one thing in common. All of them were unplanned pregnancies. Pregnancies that could have ended in abortion. But their parents toughed it out, listened to their hearts, and discovered along the way that sometimes the best things in life aren't planned. Life. What a beautiful choice. Yes! Y-E-S! Year and sale! Now through New Year's Eve, your New York, New Jersey Mitsubishi dealers are special pricing 94. Diamante ESs, Montero LSs, and 3,000 GTs. $2.99 a month! Yes, you heard right! $2.99 a month! Buy it or lease it! It's the Y-E-S! Yes! Year and sale! At your New York, New Jersey Mitsubishi dealers. Buy it or lease it! Diamante ESs, Montero LSs, and 3,000 GTs. Your choice, $2.99 a month! It is the Christmas present they and their families had hoped for. Today, nearly 600 American soldiers arrived home from Somalia, including these at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. President Clinton has ordered the withdrawal of all United States forces from Somalia by the 31st of March. That followed the attack by Somali militiamen in October, which left 18 Americans dead and 75 others wounded. President Clinton telephoned American troops in Somalia and elsewhere around the world this afternoon. The White House says Mr. Clinton talked with 10 soldiers, wishing them a Merry Christmas and thanking them for their sacrifice. The president also did some last-minute shopping at a mall in Georgetown. He walked away carrying two bags full of presents. The Clintons will spend a quiet Christmas with other family members at the White House. Some Nassau County residents are getting an early Christmas present. The Board of Supervisors has passed a budget which reduces... The average homeowner's property tax bill by $8 next year. But for business owners, property taxes are going to be going up between 9 and 12 percent. High taxes, fear of crime, and a million other nagging problems face Mayor-elect Rudy Giuliani once he takes office in a little more than a week. We want to know what you want Giuliani to do. Tonight, Channel 2's David Diaz begins a series of reports on priorities in an open letter to the next mayor. Dear Rudy, I guess I don't have to tell you that New Yorkers are a tough breed, products of a tough town. 
and they know you're going to have your work cut out for you when you move into the hot seat called City Hall. I wish him luck, but I think we need, I don't know, it's just it's so hard it, to ask for anything. There's so many things that, you know, it is to be done in the, in the city. And while New Yorkers don't even expect you to solve most of them, there are a couple they desperately hope you will. And one they mention to us more than any other is... I would like you to get the homeless off the streets. Something has to be done about the homeless problem. I'd like to see him deal more compassionately with the homeless population. Do you have any idea how he might get the homeless off the streets? Any suggestions for him? I do not, unfortunately. Perhaps the answer lies in solving a mystery that continues to puzzle so many New Yorkers. There's a lot of people out here that's homeless and everything, you know. And um, there's a lot of vacant buildings around that the people in the neighborhood don't understand why aren't they fixing them up so that we can keep the people in the neighborhood instead of moving them out to different places. By the city's own figures, there are more than 2,300 vacant city-owned buildings that contain almost 23,000 apartments. Funny, that's approximately the number of homeless people that a recent study found had been in city shelters in the course of a year. There are many homeless people like myself. I'm trying to find an apartment now, but due to situations like this, I can't find one. Due to vacant buildings like this that can be renovated, you have people that are homeless with their children. I don't think it's fair. Buildings without people, people without homes. Dear Rudy, that is the Gordian knot so many New Yorkers are hoping you can unravel. David Diaz, Channel 2 News. Still ahead this evening, Frank Field is here. You ask Santa Claus if Frank Field, he delivers. He'll tell us if all the cold weather we've had this week will carry through Christmas Day. Plus, why one letter carrier is making her last-minute deliveries in a stretch limo. Next on Channel 2 News. America's hometown hero. Sponsored by your Tri-State Jeep and Eagle dealers. California native Brian Boitano captivated the world with his Olympic gold medal performance in 1988. Considered the finest men's figure skater in the history of the sport, Boitano won two world championships and went on to a five-year undefeated streak in professional competition. Now, Boitano says he's ready for an Olympic comeback. I don't want to look back and say I should have done it. The Olympic Winter Games, returning to CBS. It's the most magical time of the year, the holiday season, and your Jeep and Eagle dealers are working some magic of their own with an incredible zero-down holiday sale. Make no down payment and still save up to $1,500 on Jeep Grand Cherokee V8. Get big savings on Eagle Vision and $500 cash back on Eagle Talent. So hurry in and enjoy that magical feeling only the holiday season can bring. Plus, right now, make no payments until April. See your Tri-State Jeep and Eagle dealer today. A new season of American renewal has begun. Mayors come and go, but the life of a city must endure. There are things that are more important than just the outcome of an election. It looked like a vehicle exploded. Everybody, just back in the state. This is part of the network of terrorists who hate America. We found that we would never give each other up, and let's go out and make some money. I approve the plan, and I'm responsible for it. No school or classroom will be open that has not been tested. She was apparently in a secret room in his house. They were coming up from the shore uh, by the dozen. Apparently, desperately trying to come to America. The shots just kept going off. He wouldn't stop shooting. He just wouldn't stop shooting. Just randomly shooting people in the head and neck. I'm very proud to be standing before you here today. Enough. But times change this fast. One newscast can make a difference. I'm Tony Guy. I'm Michelle Marsh. I'm Dana Tyler with Bernie Anastas. In 1994, experience the difference of Channel 2 News. The last-minute Christmas mail arrived in style today in one part of Iowa. Mail carrier Grace Gordon made her deliveries in a stretch limousine. It's because Grace's last day on the job was today. After 24 years, her friends wanted to, her to feel like a queen, so they rented the limo. Grace said the, she really enjoyed the pampering, especially with the last-minute pile of mail for the holidays. <laughs> what a way to go. Frank does it all the time. Uh, yeah. Last day, Jim, you're buying. Uh, we do have, for the metropolitan area, uh, some snow showers in the offing, and some folks have already seen it. For example, Atlantic City had some snow showers. Stewartsville had some snow showers. Uh, where else? Let's see now. Uh, Monticello had some snow showers. Butte, they're they're all over the place, but most folks haven't seen much yet. Butte, Montana. Butte, Montana. What was the town? <laughs> Butte, Butte, never mind. Okay, we're going to go to the map now. Follow me on over. Uh, 34 degrees right now, and that is the high for the day. The relative humidity is 51%. The important thing is that those snow showers will be around 
and they won't really bother you too much if you're going out this evening. Although off to the uh, west of the area, a few heavier snow showers may coat the ground earlier uh, during the morning hours and make things a little slippery, but otherwise, no real problem, just a kind of a Christmas touch. And you can see on the radar why they're widely scattered. A couple moving through central New Jersey around Millville, uh, lots of snow showers over the Catskills and the Poconos. Along the lee of the lakes, Buffalo has had nine inches of snow. That's where it's really coming down because the proximity of the waters of the Great Lakes. But here in the metropolitan area, that little low that's moving through will trigger off a few clouds and snow showers overnight. It'll zip off. Saturday, we break out of that. Not a bad day at all. But then look at this. There's another one developing. That will come scooting through. And a greater chance of some light snow or snow showers on Saturday night and into early Sunday. And then once again, Sunday night into Monday. So some quick changes, mostly on the cold side. So the forecast for the metropolitan area, we expect that over the next couple of days, winter will really hang on. Temperatures not getting above freezing through Sunday and Monday. A chance of some snow showers around, a little touch for tonight, for tomorrow night, for Sunday night, and part of Monday, too. Chance, a chance, a chance. And Jim has a sled, can't you? <laughs> he can't wait to eat rose What do you charge bugs? for driving your limo? Right? Not much. <laughs> no, you make a lot of money in prom. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Health, a Nassau County health official issued a warning today after a woman visiting from South America came down with measles. All Nassau County hospitals have been told to watch out now for other cases of measles, and if you or your youngsters have a high fever, and a red blotchy rash, you should call your doctor right away. Still ahead tonight, full speed ahead. We'll show you all the fun you're missing if you did your Christmas shopping early. Next on Channel 2 News. I'm Every time you have an awful cold, do you try a new cold remedy? Still looking for one that's right for you? Well, the search is over because finally there's a cold medicine good enough to be called Robitussin. Introducing Robitussin Liquid Gels, powerful non-drowsy relief for your stuffy nose, chest congestion, and of course, cough. If you want sympathy, keep searching. Feeling better? If you want powerful relief, yeah. good. take new Robitussin Liquid Gels. Finally, Robitussin relief for your cold. SunJet International introduces daily service to St. Petersburg and Fort Lauderdale. We've got your ticket to the sun for just $69. Call 1-800-4-SUNJET. Introducing your Toyota dealer's holiday lease packages. The 1994 Toyota Camry. And the 1994 Toyota Corolla. holiday season, open one up. Can Cheryl Ladd's gorgeous daughter follow mom's angelic footsteps? Find out on the next Entertainment Tonight. Tonight at 7.30. Oscuros in terra misteria lucis agnovius. Pope Paul is now celebrating the traditional midnight mass in Vatican City. You're looking at a live picture now from Vatican City. The Pope is speaking live from there. The Mass is held in St. Basilicas, St. Peter's in Basilica Square, and it's broadcast all over the world. Yeah. Here in this area, some New York City firefighters made a Christmas gesture to help ease tensions with police. Firefighters arrived at the 34th Precinct in Washington Heights with a basket of fruit. The tensions are the result of a Christmas card delivered to firehouses around the city over the past few days. The card shows a cop dressed as Santa arresting a firefighter holding a money sack with the letters WTC. That's a reference to rumors firefighters looted the World Trade Center after the bombing. For those of you who would like to wait until the last minute to do your Christmas shopping, the last minute has come. What was it like out there in the stores this afternoon? Well, Channel 2 News went along with one couple to the Newport Center Mall in Jersey City. And we love this mall for Christmas shopping. And we're last-minute shopping. We do it because we really enjoy the 
Christmas spirit, the holiday spirit of shopping last minute. We're buying some uh, last minute toys for our grandchildren. Okay. That thing might overwhelm us. Well, let's get one for, um... <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Everybody's shopping. Yeah, yeah it's the time of the year. Go. This one for, um, uh, Robert. Right. And you have the little doll for Katie. How much is that? Next person. I think I lost five pounds in there alone. We didn't get crushed. Okay, now you have to get a card for me, and I want to see if I can get some stickers to uh, put on the bag. I'm going to use Spanish uh, stickers. Yeah, we're all sold out. That's okay. Everybody understands Spanish. We've got so many things, I can't even think who we bought them for. But I think we took care of everybody. So, Merry Christmas to all and to all. Good night. Lunch. Good night. We're going to have lunch yet? Oh, okay. We have something for Mark, our son-in-law. We have something for Chris. And we have uh, Paul and, and uh, Kathy. Rose doesn't believe in shopping in August or September. She says people who do that are entirely too organized. Our thanks to Rose and uh, John Melly for allowing us to tag along today <laughs> in the last minute shopping. I like their matching sweaters too, all, all part of the momentum for the day. <laughs> Charm, just keep babbling. <laughs> John Snyder's here next with all the sports. And the heartwarming story of Jersey City's favorite basketball star, Bobby Hurley, heading home, coming up on Channel 2 News. The word at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer is yes, Y-E-S, for year-end savings. The time we have to say yes to make room for new stock. That means yes to clearance savings on Plymouth Voyager with standard driver and front passenger airbags. Save up to $1,500 on Grand Voyager. Hurry in for year-end savings. The minivan you want is a simple yes away. Yes. See your Chrysler Plymouth dealer today. This special moment is brought to you by American Airlines, the official airline of the U.S. ski team. Norway's Bjorn Daly and Vegard Olvon dominated cross-country skiing in Albertville. Known for his sportsmanship and charisma, Daly won three gold medals, then three more at the 93 World Championship. Olvon earned three gold medals and a silver in Albertville, plus a nickname, the Terminator. Teammates, friends, and rivals, Daly and Olvon are the ones to watch for the gold in Lillehammer. The Olympic Winter Games returning to CBS. No, my plane's stuck somewhere back The here. flight has been canceled. The five most hated words of every business traveler. On a day like this, I know it's not the airline's fault. Still, I just want somebody to give me some answers. Let's see if we can reroute you from another city. Those are the people I come back to. They try and find a way and give me my best option. Maybe even on another airline. I appreciate that. Because a little honesty goes a long way. Tell Billy by halftime, I'll be there. Party. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Snyder. Thank you, Jim, very much. For Jersey City native Bobby Hurley, Christmas came one day early, meaning he will be spending Christmas out of the hospital. Hurley today left the Sacramento Hospital, where he had been, been since being seriously injured in an auto accident 12 days ago. The Sacramento Kings rookie is a long way from 100%, though. He still faces major knee surgery. Doctors are optimistic he can play in the NBA next season, if not exactly when the season starts. He had no comments today, but a grateful father looked forward to Christmas. Uh, we'll have regular Christmas Day tomorrow. Yeah, we, well, we, we shipped a lot of presents out here from the East. So we tried to, you know, we're, our Christmas is here. So everything that we need to have here is, you know, Bobby's at the hospital. So that was, uh, you know, primarily the biggest Christmas gift. Christmas tree decorated and ready to go. To yeah, we're ready to roll. Day. We're just like anybody else, you know, we're ready to go right now. On the day before Christmas, the only major sporting event took place in El Paso, Texas, the John Hancock Bowl, where number 19, Oklahoma, easily defeated Texas Tech 41 to 10. Oklahoma quarterback Cale Gundy is the all-time leading quarterback in Sooner history. He looked at today, three touchdowns to finish the season at nine and three. Now the Knicks, as you know, have been hot.